Okay, I'm a fraud. Uh, I did not see the movie that won the poll. The movie that won the poll was uh, the Resident Evil movie. So, did you see that movie? It's not the theater I go to a mile away like I usually do. It's the one three miles away. And I like to only do that for movies I'm really pumped for. I actually tried going there. One mile in, my feet were hurting. My legs were aching. Normally I would push on, but no. I could not muster myself to see that piece of shit. I thought about watching Cam, but the quality's terrible. So no Cam rip. Um, I'll make it up to y'all by having a baller top 10 a 2021 video. Yes, I'm actually gonna do one this year. I'm like, it's not gonna be like, 20, like uh, 2017, 2018 videos where I do like every movie I see. I'm just gonna do the top 10. Cause uh, that just was, that's just too much. I get burned out doing that. If we do top 10, I'll get done. I plan on doing that in like February. But anyways, King Richard was great. <laughs> it, I mainly saw it because I was shocked a Will Smith movie was getting good reviews. Because uh, if you've been following Will Smith's career in the 2010s, it's nothing but crap. <laughs> I mean, Concussion was okay, but that's just crap. Like, seeing him a good movie was awesome. Um, I mainly love his character, Richard. Like, he's so much, he's so engaging and fun to watch. Uh, I kind of worried in the beginning it was just he was going to be the perfect person with no flaws, but yeah, his cockiness does get to him a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, so yeah, good writing. Um, the, uh, <laughs> I know there's been some controversy about the fact that Richard's the main character. <laughs> oh boy, that was a whole Twitter debate. That was fun to read. Um, yeah. Also, this is the fourth movie I've seen my entire lifetime with an empty theater. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Uh, I can see anything else. I don't know, maybe 